Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the taste, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today, I prepare cookie crumble dessert three different ways, and we fly high at the Ernie Hall Aviation Museum. But first, it is the Demolition Derby at the Canfield Fair. Every year, one of the most popular events at the Grandstand is the Demolition Derby. And it's really all for bragging rights, five, six hundred dollar pot, but I'll tell you, these guys are passionate. And every year I attend, and I just love watching the Rock'em Sock'em with the cars. It's fascinating. These guys love doing it, and they work the circuit, a lot of them, and go to the different county fairs. Well, I sponsored a car this year, Todd Hardman, the number 10, and hopefully we'll see if we make it through the first round and win this thing. Well, the first demolition derby that'll take place will be the youth division. Now, I can't believe this, but the youth division is 12 to 15 year olds. And I guess since you're not on the road, you don't have to have a driver's no, license. No, no, not at all. And uh, Dylan, who is the uh, nephew of the guy driving my car, well, he is in the youth division. So this is the last year for you because you're 15 now. Yep, yep. And is this, how many times have you done the uh, youth division? First time, first year. And what made you want to enter this year? Uncle Todd told me about it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just decided, well, you know what? I'd have a blast doing it. So we're out here and... So what kind of preparation do you have to do with this car? You know, I mean, like, tell me, you have to take all what, the glass out? All, all the glass has to come out. Most of the interior, only the front two seats stay in. Um, all the carpet, everything comes out, you know. Where did, what kind of car is Oh, this was a, a Cavalier. And where did you get it? Up in Brookfield, about and half an hour away. Can I ask how much your uh, your ride costs? Two fifty. <laughs> Matthew here has the Green Bay Packers car. Obviously, Packers fan. Yeah. Is this your first um, demolition derby? Yeah. And why this year? What made you enter? Try it out and see how I like it. And uh, what kind of ride is this? Pontiac Grand Prix. Andrew Smelter, this is not your first rodeo. No. No. Okay. You've been in this for, you said, 20 years. Yep. Now, have you won? Yeah, a couple of them I did. Now, what is the secret to, you know, being the last man standing? Just got to go out there and try to keep your car for the feature. That's all. And on this ride, I think this is a good one, too, because you got a lot of metal around you. I mean, you know, it protects you. What cars do you think are best for this? Buick, Chevys, which one? I used to run the 73, 74 Chevys. And this is the first year I run a Buick front-wheel drive. And what are you thinking? I don't know. It's going to be a good one. And where, who helped you decorate? I like the Simpsons. I like uh, and all the girls and that painted it in. So, girls, you did all the painting on this. Good job. Andrew Smeltzer Jr. This is the son of Andrew who I just spoke to. Now, you won this last year. Yes, I did. And um, what's the secret? Ah, there really ain't no secret. Try to survive, but uh, you got to do damage and take out other cars at the same time. Now, what is the prize when you win this? This one, I think, is like 600 bucks and a trophy. Well, that's pretty good. Now, you put together that car... The 18 car is the one you won in last year. 16, yeah. Or 16 car. Mm-hmm. And this is uh, number... Number one, this is a Cavalier station wagon. Why a station wagon? Ah, just this is what I come across this year, and it was pretty solid, so I'm going to run it. Well, you know, uh, you've really hit the big time when you have, like, a racing team. Yeah. You know, Team Malone, Todd Hartman's my driver, man. We started this a couple years ago. We sponsored it, and you did really good. You were white. I think you were like third or fourth. I won my first heat, and but I didn't do too well in the feature. So, but it was positive for the first time. It was really fun, and then you said you wanted to do it again this year. Why do you want to do this? You know, it's just the adrenaline rush. You know, I turned 55, and it makes you feel like you're alive, <laughs> <laughs> at least for now. And then my nephew heard about that they're having the youth. And so he was all excited. So I had to come out and support him, and we had fun together building the cars. So it, you know, it's a family thing, and it's great. I know we we talked to Dylan earlier. Now, where did you? 
I mean, you once they did the cla uh, what cash for clunkers. That really took a lot of these good vehicles off the road, huh? It did. It's hard to find a vehicle. And I try to find a better vehicle, but they're few and far between, you know. And, you know, it can get expensive. And, you know, some of the big guys that do it all the time, they dump lots of money in their cars. Jennifer is sitting right behind us and is really an authority on this stuff. I mean, this is not the first time you've come to these demolition derbies. No. We've been doing it for years and years and years and years. Yeah. And how, like, why why are you so into it? Oh my gosh, there's so much talent involved, like, just between the painting of the cars, showing spirit, and the driving of the cars, what they have to do to put the cars together just to get them here. All right, my little seatmate here, Mary Giovanna, your first demolition derby. What do you think? I'm really excited and I, my favorite part about this is when they crash but it's kind of dangerous. It is but you really like some of the cartoon characters that they paint on the car and you know what's really cute is whenever there's a Stars and Stripes car, an American car, you always cheer really well. Yeah because I, I like to cheer for country things. Alright, so she's patriotic too. This will be fun. My car's coming up. We got to cheer for it. Yeah. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I'm here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery with owner Phil Rita. And you know his craft beer selection here at the Magic Tree is the largest in the region. And now, what are you doing with wine? We are so excited to bring the area's very first wine draft system right here to the Magic Tree in Boardman, Ohio. And it is like drinking wine from the winery. We received the barrel directly from the winery and it is fresh and delicious to the very last drop. Come to the Magic Tree's wine and spirit room and you see for yourself. Cheers. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Rooley Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. Are you ready to step up to Xmark? The mowers purchase two to one over the next best-selling brand by Landscape Pros. Do it now during the Xmark Quest National Sales Event and get a $700 instant rebate on Xmark Quest front steer mowers. Pro grade performance in a premium residential zero turn. Xmark. Engineered by us, trusted by them, ready to work for you. Visit xmark.com to find a dealer near you. Pursue your passion for craft beer at Mortal's Key Brewing Company in Jamestown. We've unlocked old world recipes with the finest ingredients, small batch care, and an artistic nonconformity. Enjoy craft brews by award-winning brewmaster Sean McIntyre. 
open all year. Visit our tap room across from Pima Tuning Lake. Celebrate Oktoberfest September 30th through October 2nd at Mortals Key Brewing Company. Hurry into a Spitzer location near you to enjoy the lowest prices of the year on some of our best-selling 2016 models. You can save thousands on your new vehicle with the Spitzer Model Year on Sales event. Spitzer, saving you more since 1904. The museum that bears Ernie Hall's name honors everything regarding aviation. Hall was a local hero whose contributions influenced early aviators like the Wright brothers. Ernie Hall is an aeronautical pioneer. You are barely a year old and you already need to expand. <laughs> I mean, you have got so many artifacts and it's not all about Ernie Hall. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy, but here at the museum, the namesake is Ernie Hall, but what we really like to focus in on is the local heroes and the local people, but we also highlight a lot of the national and world-renowned aviators like Howard Hughes and the Spruce Goose and Charles Lindbergh in the Spirit of St. Louis, Jimmy Doolittle and his GB Racer, uh, the propeller from the USS Akron Airship. We have all kinds of really, really neat things here, um, nationally, internationally, but also what we really love to do is talk about the local people. And your acquisitions. Now, this has been a personal interest of yours, what, since you were a little boy? Yes, that's true. Um, I grew up uh, right across the street from Ernie Hall's original airport. And as a very young boy, my older brother and my dad would take me over there. And I remember it like very, very vividly. And uh, at the time, Ernie was getting older and he was kind of crabby. I'd ask him for an airplane ride. <laughs> he wouldn't give me one. Beat it, kid. Yeah, exactly. My dad would say, don't ask for airplane rides. But, um, here, you know, Ernie's airport was, was torn down painstakingly and moved to the Trumbull County Fairgrounds where they were going to turn it into a museum. And a terrible dis, uh, tornado storm came through in the early 80s, I believe it was, and, yeah. and wiped it out. So that was the end of that. So ever since then, I've wanted to do something like this. And where are you getting all these items? We are so lucky. Um, people, have, we've got the word out, and I'd like to ask the people who are watching this to, if you know somebody, if it's a friend, a relative, a father, a mother, that has something to do with aviation, we'd love to immortalize them here at the museum. And you do tours for the school kids and yes. for different organizations. I mean, what is the reaction of the, the young kids when they come through? Yeah, Casey, it, it's probably the most exciting thing. I've said this since the beginning. When, if I could make the little kids in the cars driving down the street, North River Road, say, Mom and Dad, let's go see the airplanes. That's what I want to do. So I want them to tell them, let's go see the airplanes again. Uh, we get the kids in here, uh, college kids. I call them kids because I'm old. <laughs> elementary school kids, t uh, high school kids, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. They love it here. It's very interactive. You can touch things. You can sit in airplanes, pretend that you're a pilot. Um, that's what I want to do. Tell them a little history, and at the end of the day, we don't test them, because I didn't like tests when I was in school, but we, we have a little contest to see what they can remember and take away from the place. Now, the Red Baron would not be one of our local heroes. He was not a local <laughs> hero. He is definitely a world-famous uh, pilot from World War One. He's known for shooting down the, the Snoopy. Snoopy exactly, the Red that <laughs> darn Snoopy. But what he did in this airplane, this Red Fulker triplane, is yes. he um, was able to shoot down 80 airplanes in World War One, making him the leading ace. And what we have here is actually fabric from the wing and from the tail of the Red Baron's airplane in which he got shot down in. He painted his plane red so that everybody would know it was him and be scared. And uh, they were, but he was actually proven to be shot down from the ground. Somebody on the ground actually shot him down. But they credited a guy who was the closest to him in the air in an airplane but to have been the pilot who shot him down. He was, his name was Brown and he was from Canada. Bill Hunter is on the board of directors here at the Ernie Hall Museum and very well informed on all things aviation. All things aviation. <laughs> and I've got to tell you, Bill, I really didn't know who Ernie Hall was prior to coming here. Well, we even still have some local people that don't know about Ernie Hall, and when they find out that he is actually from Holland, they are absolutely shocked. And then once they have an opportunity to look and see what Ernie did and how far back he went into aviation, then they walk away totally amazed because he was a pioneer. He, he stands beside the Wright brothers because he was an aviator, he was an engineer. If, it, if he had to build it and design it, he would design it and build it. And if it flew, he had fun with it. So he goes way, way, way back. And I love how during World War I, he actually didn't fly 
but he taught all the pilots, and that is such a great story. And he didn't get enlisted because... He had supposedly bad eyesight. <laughs> Um, and then when World War I ended, he kind of stayed on and continued teaching. And before you knew it, he was back at different locations around the country teaching World War II pilots. He, he was quite a character. I wish I would have known him better because I took six lessons and all of a sudden I had a family to raise. So the flying went downhill. Well, and, yeah, you know, but these so are the actual students. These are just a few. And believe it or not, there's quite a few on that list that are still alive. <laughs> I would bet. I mean, uh, 65, they, so they would have already had their first solo flights. They would have had their first solo licensed. flight and they would have been uh, ready to uh, receive their pilot's license uh, uh, from the FAA. And I love the way the back door opens. Is this available to rent for parties and things like that? Boy, am I glad you mentioned that, because yes, we have we have rented it to all kinds of uh, organizations, people who have, uh, banks that want to have a meeting place that's a little bit different than the boardroom. Yeah. Um, people who have had parties, birthday parties, kids' birthday parties is awesome. Yeah. You know, make it the uh, the little dusty crop hopper. Yeah. <laughs> all kind of uh, great themes so, here, yeah. Yes, we would love, we love to rent it, and our website has information about all that kind of stuff. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi everybody, I'm Danny, owner and operator of Cthulhu Prime Meats, a third generation butcher shop that not only specializes in quality, but also in customer service and doing things in a new technological way. Chris here is our customer service manager. Chris, what do you think that we do differently than any other grocery store? I think we personally not only offer great product, but we can offer a great customer service experience as well. We try and treat all our customers like they were family and friends, ask how their family's doing just so they can keep in touch, and give them that customer experience that they deserve. And the nice part is we not only do that inside the store, but also on CthulhuPrimates.com, where you can buy a lot of our products that we carry here, whether it be grass-fed beef, organic chicken, some of our specialty burgers and bacon, those are wonderful, and we're going to provide that same customer experience online as we do in-store. Come see us in-store or online. Make your next meal one to remember. Cerny means trucks. For over 50 years, the Cerny family has been the area's leader for medium and heavy-duty international trucks. New or pre-owned, Cerny means trucks. Easy to find. Cerny Motors is conveniently located at Route 46 and 80. At Cerny Motors, no job is too big or too small. Cerny Motors service will keep you on the road. For service, parts, sales, lease, or rental, Cerny means trucks. I'm blessed with a wonderful husband. He stuck with me through thick and thin, and he's a fantastic father. So when he needed long-term care, not just any place would do, we did our research. Everyone said, trust the name you know, Briarfield. With all those locations, there's always one close. That made it easy for me and the kids to visit more often, Briarfield. Trust the name you know, Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. Hurry into a Spitzer location near you to enjoy the lowest prices of the year on some of our best-selling 2016 models. You can save thousands on your new vehicle with the Spitzer Model Year on Sales event. Spitzer, saving you more since 1904. Ignite something. Ignite speechlessness. Ignite joy. Ignite anticipation and surprise. Only the perfect cut unleashes a diamond's power to ignite. Hearts on fire. Available at Kamara Jewelers. Get real, get Kamara. Today's cooking segment is packed with information. It is my easy cookie crumble dessert. Three different varieties. Apple with the snickerdoodle cookies, and then we use the sugar cookie for the cherry and for the lemon. 
a girlfriend of mine brought the cherry to dinner a few weeks ago and she told me how easy it was to make. And then I became obsessed and I tested and I tried all these different ingredients to enhance it and what would work. I put on about five pounds doing my research, but you will be rewarded. These are delicious and so very easy with ingredients you can keep in your cabinet and your pantry. And when you need to uh, make a quick and delicious dessert, this will be your go-to. I'm gonna make all three of them. We're gonna slam those out and you're gonna see how easy they are. Basically, it is the same procedure, but we're going to just have different flavors. So let's get started. I preheated the oven to 375 degrees and I've greased a nine by nine cooking pan. In the bowl, we have the egg. We're going to whisk it and then add the sugar cookie cookie mix on top of the beaten egg. We'll mix that a little bit. And now we'll add a stick of unsalted butter that's been melted and we'll add that to the cookie mix. And now we'll blend that together and look how easily the dough just comes together. Once it forms the dough, we are going to remove three quarters of a cup of that and set it aside. And we'll use that in just a little bit. And then we'll take the remaining dough and line the bottom of the nine by nine prepared cooking pan. And we are going to just evenly put that along the bottom because that is going to serve as our crust. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to take the canned cherry pie filling and we'll put that out. It's really good. I'll tell you the tang from the cherries. This makes it a really nice bright recipe. All right, so we got it all out. And to the cherry pie mix, I'm just going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract just for a little enhancement. And now we are going to top this crust with the cherry mixture. And we'll just spread that evenly over the cookie crust layer. Remember the three quarters of a cup of dough that I saved? Well now I'm just going to break it off into little pieces and evenly drop it over the top of the cherry pie filling. And the last step, since we have the almond flavoring in there, I thought it would be nice to add a little crunch to this dish. And I have some slivered almonds and I will just top the cookies that I have broken up on top over top of that. And then into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. Start watching it at about 30 minutes. I'm not sure how hot your oven bakes. And this will be ready in no time. Next up is the lemon crumble. Again, it's the same thing. I'm gonna whisk up the egg at the bottom of the bowl. Very easy to do. Again, I'm going to use the sugar cookie as the base. Add that to the top of the egg. There we go. Mix that up just a little bit. A stick of unsalted melted butter. And again, we are going to remove three quarters of a cup of this dough. And now, to kick the lemon up a notch, I grated the zest from one lemon. And again, I uh, have some chopped walnuts that I'm gonna add for the lemon and just sprinkle them on and, you know, evenly put them over the top of the lemon crumble. That's it. Again, into 375 degree oven, 40 to 45 minutes, but start watching it. I let mine go to about 45, but I'm not sure, again, how hot your oven runs. Now this one, I went a little crazy. Running with scissors. All right, I'm using snickerdoodle instead of the sugar cookie. Love snickerdoodles, okay? And that is, of course, a cinnamon cookie. Now time for the melted butter. All right. For the cinnamon, you get a little packet of a cinnamon sugar in the bag. Keep this separate and we'll use this with each layer. With the cinnamon sugar packet, I am just gonna use about a third of it and sprinkle it on top of the bottom layer of dough. 
All right, on top of this, we're now going to add the apples. And again, I'm using walnuts, but I think this will be fine with pecans or even almonds. And now we're gonna sprinkle the rest of the cinnamon sugar right on top. Goes into the oven, 375, 40 to 45 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, depending on the heat from your oven. Well, the smell of baked goods in your <laughs> oven always makes you come out for this. It huh? always encourages me to come downstairs. <laughs> So, we've got the apple snickerdoodle, we've got the lemon crumble, and we have the cherry crumble. And Which do. one do you prefer? I think my favorite is the lemon. You and Ken. <laughs> is that right? Something in common. It's hard to believe that this came out of a can. I know, and, a can and, 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 and a pot. And uh, Jelaine always wants a good reason for champagne. And uh, champagne pairs very well. Oh. It, your dad used to tell me when I washed the dog that I would drink it was for champagne. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Great. A little bit of mums. The good stuff. Any excuse. All right. So go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. All the crumble recipes will be there. And you are going to wow your guests. Oh. Really. They're so easy and so <laughs> delicious. And think of different combinations with the different fry, uh, pie fillings, rather. All right? All right. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Enjoy the crumbles. My show is always on. Watch previous segments at CaseyMaloneShow.com. Sponsored by the Ingram Law Office. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.